One of the things we find out fairly early on as quilters is that applique blocks can be very sacred to a lot of piecers and quilters alike. Uh, we tend to be a little bit shy with what we do in them. We, we don't want to invade the space. Um, that's over. Let's get in there and do some play with that and take it as far as we can go. No more blank applique. Remember, it's a canvas and you're the artist. Just do it well. Now we're going to go over thread fusion and applique. We have a poppy here for my DVD workshop series. And what we have done is we've centered it right in a block. But this isn't the complete block. This is actually the center of the block. And I've just put a block in to make sure that my motif is even. I've sprayed the back of the motif with Pam spray, waited the few seconds as it says on the can. And then I've laid it flat and pressed it down so that I have no loose edges. You want to make sure that your edges are nice and, and, and securely um, attached down on your fabric. Um, I'm looking at the, the piece itself and I know that I want to start in the center because I do want to do a little bit of thread play in the center here and around the petals. And so I am then going to do very last the outside of the poppy itself. Now a lot of people would say, well, why don't we do the outside first and it's stable and then we can go inside. What's going to happen if you do that is you're going to get some puckering in here when you try to do your thread painting. So if you work from the center out, it's a little bit more of a smooth transition. And by the time you get out to the edges, you can repress them down just a little bit and go around them. And the design looks a lot smoother on the fabric. Um, so let's get started on that portion. We've locked our threads and I'm going to start right here around the base of the seed pod of the poppy. And I'm going to go right around with that sketching line and just a little bit out when there's a shadow. Going right up to that seed pod, right in the deepest shadow, I've got a dark purple in, and I think that purple in deep shadows is, is perfect. Especially with the red, with the poppy. And again, I'm just doing that nice sketching line just to pop that out. We're not doing any actual thread painting. Just doing some sketching. Now I'm back where I started. Now I can go around to the petals themselves right again into that deep shadow and that sketching will keep you right on right on track and we're going to go around those petals just to stabilize the actual applique and pop out those petals
There's a lot more people now that want to see some of our thread art in, our, in their applique on their quilts. Before it was, please stay out of my applique, and now it's, it's show off my applique. So we've come a ways with that. And it's just remembering that your long arm is actually an art pencil. It's not really just a quilting machine. into those deep shadows, come out just to pop them a little bit. Now I can, as I go around, start to just come out to the edge with each of the petals that reach out. Kind of like a backwards peeling of the onion. up, around those petals, sketch, sketch, Lock your stitches, cut away. We have our thread locked down now, and we're going to go on the outside of the inside of that pod. And that's just going to pop that out and give it a little bit of definition. Again, we're not going to go too extreme. This isn't thread painting, um, but we're going to at least give some accents. We're using a gold metallic just to kind of be a little more dramatic. Turn down my speed just a little bit here. We're getting into some tighter areas. Remember, you can slow down your, your machine as slow as you want. That's why they have that speed dial right on there. Just highlight. Around that little center. I'm doing a little bit less of a sketching line and more of just a back and forth just to get that popped out. Right up into the center, right back around to where we started. And I'm just going to go around that just one more time to give that edge just a little extra pop.
Now we're going to pull it away and we're going to do the outer edge. Now we have the inside of our poppy complete and we're going to go around the edge with our thick sketching line. Now when you do that, what you want to do is you actually want to start a scant inside the applique. Just a scant so you're picking up the inside and then the sketching works outside and that's going to tack that down so it's not going to come out with washing or use. Let's start. Again, we are starting outside, working our way inside, and we're going to go all the way around the outside of that poppy. Now I'm using a gold metallics. Um, this is the Superior's brand. Um, instead of a red, I just wanted to give it a little bit of drama around the edge. going to go all the way around that whole poppy. Gonna come back. And again, this is where you can clean up some edges. Come back. Come back right out to the edge. Right out to the edge, all the way around. Just take your time, outline the whole thing from the inside to the outer edge. We now have our applique completely thread fusioned down and we've done our thread work in there. Whether it would have been something we actually um, applique with the machine or an existing applique that was already in the quilt. Um, we're going to go actually go ahead and thread fusion the outside now. And we're going to begin with a simple echo and fill method. There's lots of different things we can do. We could actually do some thread painting with some leaves or um, the stems, uh, but I'm going to leave it fairly basic, more as a medallion, and we'll treat it that way, all the way out to the edge of the block. Now this isn't actually the edge of the block, this is the center of the block, and our block actually extends out about two or three inches beyond here. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do some echo and fill around that, just like we've done around our motifs so far.